Let's see, time now is 8.54. Travelling abroad can be both an exciting and stressful experience, but for people with autism, it can be additional challenges. So just how accommodating is the rest of the world for autistic people? Well, that's what actor Richard Milan and his son Jacko has a form of autism set to find out in their new documentary. They embark on a road trip across America to find out how theme parks through to barbershops strive to be more inclusive. We'll speak to them in a minute, but let's have a look at a bit of the road trip. Around the world, millions of people are diagnosed with autism. My son Jacko is one of them. He loves ghost trains, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 I like ghost trains, yeah. So, do you want me to go on it first and film he it? He loves the ghost train, but it's too much for him straight away. So, Dad is going on the ghost train. Up the hill. Up the hill. He wants me to go on and film it first. Be small for the camera. Down he goes. Yeah. Work out where all the noises and scares happen. And there's the puppet. Tell him if there's anything that's going to bother him. Out he comes. He'll watch it and be like, yeah, I'm having that. Smiles for the camera. And you're off. Up the hill. Jacko films everything. Here he goes. And I worry that when he's an adult, he'll still be filming things and people won't understand why. It's a shame that we get less tolerant. Like, he's almost got a free pass as a child. But then th these behaviours aren't going to change for Jacko. They're just going to become more pronounced in a way. So how that will be for him as an adult? Well, Richard and Jacko are both with us here on the sofa. Yeah. Good morning. Good, morning. Mo good morning. Jacko, can you explain... Why does Dad have to go on the ghost train first? Because 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 he needs he needs to um, film it first. Film it first to me what what noises are gonna noise when he's scared to happen. And then you watch it. Yeah. And that how does that help? Um, yeah the, yeah that helps really good. Because it means you understand what might yeah. happen. It's yeah. really interesting watching the two of you uh, going about what you do because we learn so much about how Jacko's world works and, and how the world around him can help. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of like standard for our life, really. We, I, I go, because he, he's a real kind of go-getter, he loves life, but he clearly finds things challenging from a sensory perspective. But that doesn't stop him. But I have to go and kind of test the water first. So, like, with the ghost train, he's been on, like, 10, 11 ghost trains. Um, and on um, those ghost trains several times. So we're talking, you know, a couple hundred times on ghost trains. Um, but I always have to go on first, even if he's been on it before as well, just to check that things are still happening in the same order. And, you know, it gives, it gives Jacko control over what could potentially be a challenging situation. Mm. And then he gets the buzz out of it that everybody else would get. Um, so what you've done in this documentary is you, you went to go and sort of investigate the world and perhaps what the world can do differently um, mm -hmm. to help people with autism. Um, you went to America. Yeah. I mean, that's a challenge in, in itself. Yeah. Yeah, big time. I mean, a, a lot of autistic people find travel very challenging. Uh, Jackal loves aeroplanes, so that was kind of like, you know, he, he was fine to get on a plane. Mm -hmm. And actually, Cardiff Airport, they, they, were, they have an uh, autism-friendly setup there. So they've got things in place to help families go through security and an inter-check-in with, with minimal disruption and minimal kind of sensory overload. So that was a great start to the trip. But then, yeah, we went to um, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. We went to Philadelphia. Where else did we go? Um, we, we, we went to the... Um New York. Yeah, we went to New York, went to Madison Square Gardens. Uh, to, uh, and then we went to um, the um, Sesame Place. Sesame, Sesame Place Street, in which Philadelphia. Was, and what was, what was that like? Because you met some of the characters, didn't you, from Sesame Street? Um, yes. I just... Um, Who did you meet there? Um, and, and then we went to the basketball mm -hmm. Knicks. In Sesame Place. Who did you meet there? Um, the um, puppet. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. I saw Big Bird. And Julia got autism. Yeah. Yeah. They have a character, That's don't right. they, in, yeah, in they Sesame do. Street who has a form of autism. Yeah. What was it like when you met that character? Because because Julia got autism, she she she, she, she because she doesn't like loud noises either. Mm. Because because she's got autism as well. 
There's a very there's a very moving moment in the film. Yeah, it maybe, is. Maybe Dad can explain where where you meet the character. Mm. And, she's upset, isn't and she? And she's upset. Yeah. Uh, tell us what happened. So uh, a baby, the, she's having photos and a baby makes noise and, and Julia, you know, responds to that by putting her hands up. And, you know, it, it, there's a, it, a myth out there that autistic people lack empathy or don't understand empathy. And, you know, I know that's rubbish, but it was great to kind of document that because Jacko immediately s sensed that, you know, she was suffering from a you know, with, with the noise, with hypersensitivity. And he, he immediately comforted her and told her what he does in that situation. It was such a sweet moment. Oh, so what do you do when you get in a, in a situation like that? How do you cope? Yeah, because, because, um, because we went to um, New York, mm. like... Yeah, the, yeah, that means they've got loads and loads of buildings there. And it's loud there, isn't it? But you, you, yeah, you wear yeah, headphones, and don't and you? I, yeah, I, I wear headphones, yeah, because... Because they've got um, yellow taxis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've got yellow taxis in New York. Um, what I, I, I really, I love this documentary, um, and I, I learned so much from it. And I right. think one of the main things yeah. is that, for example, stimming. Do you want to explain what stimming yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Of when you, of when you do a stimming dance like this. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then you, um, and, and then you, and then you just spin around like this, and and it, and it, and this, and it's very great. How does stimming help you? Um, makes me excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes really excited, isn't it? And does it? I mean, you know, so some people might see that sort of activity and think that's you know not necessarily what they're expecting. And that's that. Is it understanding? Is that what you most want from people? Yeah, I mean, take stimming. Stimming is like self-stimulatory behaviour. That's yeah. what it's short for. And it's just an autistic person expressing themselves, whether they're excited, whether they're relaxed, whether they're actually anxious. So it can and calm them down as well sometimes. Yeah, absolutely, but it's it's normal behaviour for an autistic person. And we as a society need to be more tolerant of that and more understanding that that is just normal behaviour. I mean, we tend to be scared of things we don't quite understand. Mm. Jacko, you love sport, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I love sports, yeah. And when you go to a big stadium... A big stadium, yeah. Principality Stadium in Cardiff. That means they've got um, rugby. Yeah, where they play the rugby. It's very noisy, isn't it? Yeah, very loud. That, mean, that, means they, that means they passionate, yeah, like that. Mm. Uh, yeah, that. That means they go very passionate. And is that difficult for you when it's noisy and loud? Yeah, yo, yo, when it's noisy and loud because, because it needs to... Wear my headphones, you see. That means it's noisy. Mm. And you're on a quest to make a lot of these places more, more friendly. Yeah, yeah. more, more yeah. autism friendly, more sensory aware. And that means what? Just having quiet places for people, or what sort of thing? It means like, like say, we went to Madison Square Gardens in New York, yeah. and they've got all these. Um, it's autism friendly areas, and there's loads of them. So it's just having choice and, and systems in place. It's a really, I really yeah. loved it. Thank you very much. And I'm really flattered you're not wearing your headphones at the moment. So thank you very much. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. And we'll see you another day. Take yeah. care. Yeah, thanks. So thank you very much. Thank Take you. care. And we'll make sure we can send you a video of this as well. Yes. I know you yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, we will. Thank you. Last thank, time, last time you. Jacko came in, he filmed us. Actually, you filmed us, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Last time you were here. Yeah, um, we the did. documentary, um, it's called Richard and Jacko Take on the World. They do. Um, it's on BBC One Wales, Thursday at 9 pm, and then it'll be available on the BBC iPlayer. Time now is two minutes past nine.